Hey everybody, Brad here from Arizona Groves. Welcome to my garden. Uh, as you can see, there used to be something over here that is not here anymore. That's right, we took the tops of the Popscotti off. Um, they're in the can of troll right now. Uh, we took all the trash panda, it's all gone, except for a few nugs that are just on it. And I only left those there because, you know, why, why not? Like it, I can't, I don't, I can't unhook the one, the one pot. So I might as well just leave the stuff in it for now. Um, we didn't take any more off of this lemon cherry pie. In the back, it was still kind of getting ripe, doing its thing. Uh, we took most of this one back here, which is the other neon sunshine, the one that smells like gas. We left all the little bits of this neon sunshine. Uh, to finish up the ones that were the lower lower lowers and we have the only thing we haven't touched now is the front lemon cherry pie in the 30 gallon but it's getting close it's almost time over there so we're gonna do it soon um, not a lot to talk about in the tent guys we're, we're winding things down we're starting to get our clones ready and stuff for the next run I'd say we got two more weeks in here and then we'll also have the uh, harvest of the 91 grapes and stuff out of the other tent to look forward to and believe it or not that strawberry milk and cookies remix is starting to catch up behind them and so we're gonna have that coming down soon too uh, the crazy thing in uh, cocoa or soil that I found is it's like way faster than DWC with everything if you have a properly chilled water for your DWC setup and it's rolling. I mean, I've never had an auto take less than almost four months. <laughs> like, they just, they go. And you can tell that one's huge. <clears throat> and it's getting thick still right now. And it's like, it's just not done. Kind of like this thing. You know, this plant last time also took, we, this is the second time we've grown out this clone because we took clones from the Neon Sunshines and the Lemon Cherry Pies last time. And this one, last time we grew it out, it took longer than everything else, too. But these nugs on this are the fattest, thickest nugs. Like, density-wise, like, you squeeze them, and they don't move, that I've ever grown in my life, which is super, super cool. And it's in 30-gallon, living soil organics, cocoa, lava rock, worm castings, Malibu, uh, Oli Mountain Compost. And that's it, man. Uh, so... We'll take a look. I'm really excited. I'm excited to get the next run started. I mean, I think that's going to be awesome. And let's take a look around this tent really quick. We'll pop in the veg tent, and we'll just uh, we'll go from there. We'll talk about what's coming next. All right, guys. Let's get the show started. All right, we're back. And there's only one real plant to talk about in here still. And it's this lemon cherry pie from Raw Genetics. Uh, it's the second time we've grown it. Uh, we kept clone from the first run. This time it came out better. <laughs> Even better, if you believe it. But look at these nugs. I mean, they're not done yet. But they're starting to get the color. And they're so dense, guys. The densest nugs I've ever grown in my life in organics. I mean, they feel like rock hard. Like when you go to the dispensary and you get those weird nugs and you're like, oh, they use some kind of weird shit on this to like do it. <clears throat> That's almost what it feels like. They're that hard. But it's all organics. I haven't put anything in here that didn't come from Build the Soil or Gaia Green. You know, pretty trusted organic brands. Just look at these nugs all the way up. Fan. Fantastic. I mean, they're just killer. They're starting to get the color. I checked the trichomes the other day um, when I was taking the tops of the Pop Scotties. They weren't even close. <laughs> weren't even close. Let's see if we can get the whole thing in there. I mean, it's a nice big plant. And with how dense these nugs are, it's going to sound crazy, but I wouldn't be surprised if this plant was you know, half pounder, even though it looks kind of small. I mean, 
you don't understand how dense they are. They're like rock hard, like those companies, you know, when they <clears throat> you're like at the dispensary and it's weird. You're like, oh, they use some kind of thing that's not appropriate for human consumption in here. <laughs> but that's not how it is, man. They're just fat, dense, crazy good nugs. And the colors coming in are so cool. Look at that guy. It's starting to fade out. It's starting to get the fade, but you can see there's still some new growth, you know, kind of on the top, so it's not quite done yet. <clears throat> And this whole plant looks like that. Just amazing. Uh, we took a bunch more of the Georgia pie. It's almost completely gone, just some lowers. Um, Pop Scotty, we took everything. You can see this nug here. It's a totally different color because it was down under the other ones, not getting the light. So hopefully these last little nugs will just kind of fatten up a little bit. But they came out really nice, I mean. Pop Scotty. There's a little bit left of this lemon cherry uh, pie back here, the smaller one. And then almost all this neon sunshine we took down. I probably could have taken those too. They look ready. Especially this one right here. I mean, that thing's super frosted out and ready to go. And then the other neon sunshine. We just had those few stragglers. And you can see here. You know, like on this one, where the color is starting to, to fade out. Those are finishing now that they've been in the light for a while. In here now, we've reached the point where I'm going to try and encourage, I think, this lemon cherry pie to finish. <clears throat> Even though, <laughs> I mean, I guess my fear is, is that the lemon cherry pie, when I take it, it's going to fill up the whole can of troll by itself. Maybe not. But it's such a great plant. But that's it. There's not a lot to talk about. We're in the end stages. We're getting the next run ready. We're going to have a couple clones from Tiki. Uh, we have the Sherb Cake. It's in its one gallon pot transferred out of the cloner. Uh, still alive. Doing well. We're just waiting for it to kind of take off so we can get some a clone from it, you know, before we, we use it in the grow. And then also uh, we picked up Grape Lemon Cherry, which is Devil Driver times Lemon Cherry Gelato um, from Tiki. And that is supposed to be all grape terps. So that's going to be awesome. And that one's in the cloner right now. You know, still kind of recovering from its transport shock. We're going to change the water in the cloner today. <clears throat> Make sure everything's really good for it and then we'll get that in one gallon pot and take a clone from it. The permanent marker from Daz uh, did not make it. The snips, they didn't make it and it's going to be hot now so probably, I don't know, we might not be able to do that until this fall if he even still has it around. No big deal man. He sent them. It just ended up being that weird thing. UPS took an extra day to drop off his package which happens sometimes in the mail. You know, they say after delivery and then it doesn't come and then it comes the next day. Like, oh, just kidding. And uh, <clears throat> so no big deal there. And it just didn't make it. Didn't didn't quite live through the transition. Um, so we'll hopefully we'll get on that at some point. But we're going to have the Neon Sunshine again. Uh, the two clones from Tiki. <clears throat> Maybe a permanent marker from Daz. And then we will have... You know, auto flowers going in the auto tent, and then we have the uh, Gary Payton stuff from Exotic. We're going to have two of those plants going, and we'll just kind of see where we go from there. Um, but the tent's going to be filled again shortly, and we'll get into veg. I love to get the plants in their final containers as soon as possible and just let them really fill out in there. Um, you know, we'll go from there. But everything's looking really good. I'm excited about it. Uh, let's pop over to the veg tent, see what's going on in there, and uh, yeah, that's it, man. Not a lot to talk about. You know, next week this will be coming down. Uh, maybe we'll take a look in the can of troll really quick and check out the Pop Scotty, but we're kind of in that phase where everything's been in a holding pattern for forever, and we're just getting ready to get started with the next run. It's going to be awesome. I'm ready. Um, but that's it. So let's go. Let's go check out the veg tent. Alright everybody, we are back 
back in the veg tent. Uh, this is the Mars Hydro 4x4 under the FCE 3000. Uh, I have that light set at about 50% power, so only about 150 watts from the wall. And look at all these plants just raging. I mean, this 91 grapes is so good. It's starting to flop over a little bit, still putting on weight. Checked the trichomes the other day, they weren't ready. But it's getting close, and now when you open the tent, the whole thing smells like 91 grapes. <clears throat> Which is amazing, and I love it. And then this vanilla fizz, who's <laughs> had better days. Um, this is probably all going to edibles. But it's a good plant, like some of these, these have really densed up over the last little bit, and they smell fantastic, but they are not pretty. Um, DWC was not the, the right way to go for this girl, or at least in this particular instance, she didn't like it, or didn't like something I did. It's been a long time since I've done DWC, and I also, you know, I'm not running a chiller, it's starting to get hot now, so they're getting less air, so there's a lot going on, but, um, you know, hopefully it'll get better. Uh, we won't be doing DWC anymore. In here, we're going to replace DWC with another 30 gallon pot and we are gonna run some food in that pot along with pot <laughs> in that pot and then back here I think what we're gonna do is run food in the center one like you know some dill cilantro not even food just some herbs and then in the 30 gallon we'll run some food like carrots spinach you know something like that and then and then we'll run another cannabis plant in the back corner to compete with that one and then we'll have the 30 gallons. We'll have three going in here and then we'll have room for clones or mother plants or whatever in the other, you know, one foot section where we can just put a couple things on the floor. But yeah, this one's looking good. I've got a midnight hoodoo was what I call it, but it's midnight mass from, uh, from Daz, the seeds that were blessed by Hoodoo Moses. I have one in the cloner right now, it's spitting roots out all over the place through the little cube. I'll, uh, I'll show it to you guys before I plant it. It's not quite ready yet, we're gonna give it a few more days, but it's getting there. And then, you know, my growth plants are so sad, they're all gonna be like one nug. Might not even be this big. And then there's this plant, where it's like nug, 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 and they're all gonna be great. So, sadly, the grow off thing did not go my way this time. If there was a spot for last place, the person who took the worst grow the longest, then it would probably be me. Because <laughs> I'm going to finish it, even though it's going to look silly. And it's sad, because it's my, my, you know, you want to do really well. And then you're recording it. You're putting it out there for the whole world to see. <clears throat> and then you fail spectacularly. And uh, sometimes that happens in life. Sometimes you're just gonna, you're gonna want something really bad, and you're gonna want to do well, and you're just gonna totally fuck it up. And you know, it's okay. Like that happens. Obviously, we're not horrible growers. Like this plant is fantastic. I mean, you can look at it. It's strawberry milk and cookies. It's in the same pot, same soil mix, you know, as the other ones. And and it's balling. You know. It's just crazy, super frosty, every freaking leaf. I mean, look down there, that's just all frost. I can't grab it because I can't see it. But that's just all frost, 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 frost everywhere, all the way up. And so, <laughs> you can see this guy, he's gonna be one nug, one nug, that's it. And that's all on me, you know, I didn't do it right, I didn't get the effort, I had these other plants going, I was stressed out, you know, it just didn't work. And sometimes that happens. So what do you do? Next grow, it's not gonna happen again. We're gonna kill it. So that's all you can do is just move on. But I'm still gonna finish these three plants, man. We're gonna finish them. We're gonna get one picture for the final final of that thing, probably like a month before everybody else's thing is ready. And we're gonna submit our one nug photo <laughs> for the final of the grow off. And that's how we do, baby. Um, but yeah, that's it. I mean, everything's going pretty well. Uh, this plant, you can tell, is like, it's starting to get heavy and flop over a little bit. I've got it tied up in a couple places, but it might not be enough soon. <clears throat> and you can see it's just big fat nugs everywhere. 
But yeah, that's it guys. Veg tent's going well. Everything's looking good. Huh. You know what? We're right next to the can of troll. Let's just pop in there and take a look and see what's going on. So right now, try to shade the light from the dry tent. Tent, because I don't want to close it right now. We're at uh two we did a two-day dry. So we're 23 hours, 22 hours into that first first day. And let's just open it really quick. <laughs> I love all my stickers. But let's open it really quick and I'll just show you the Pop Scotty on the top because it came out really, really well. And just look at this. Oh, it smells so good. But that's the Pop Scotty. It's just killing it. Let's see, do we have some on this one too? Yes, look at that nug over there. And this one in the back. Some big nugs. <clears throat> and then I think this is the Neon Sunshine. Little Pop Scotty in there too. And you go down. George Pie. So just a lot of stuff. The Pop Scotty obviously had the biggest nugs, the best looking ones. Just fantastic. Just every single one, super frosty. I mean, just look at that frost. That's it, everybody. Um, two day dry in this. Uh, six day cure is what we're doing this time. So next Sunday, we'll be harvesting again. And my guess is <clears throat> Sunday we'll be ready for the 91 grapes, the vanilla fizz, and the lemon cherry pie out of the other one. And then eight days after that, <laughs> I mean we might be talking about the strawberry milk and cookies remix coming down, but we're definitely going to harvest the rest of the 5x5. Five five. So two weeks from now, you know, 14, 16 days, we're going to have the 5x5 five five cleaned out ready to go for the next run somewhere in the 20-ish day mark and then yeah things are going to be changing but everything's going really well <laughs> except for the grow-off plants and we'll just kind of go from there all right guys brad here arizona grows happy growing <laughs>